Black metal lesson number 34 today, we're going to talk about some black metal guitar techniques. So let's just start with a few fundamentals. The first of which is your picking. Do not hold your pick with three fingers, there's no point. Hold it with two. OK sign with your hand and place the pick inside. And I like to keep my fingers out when I play. I don't like to have a clenched fist. I like to have my hand more relaxed, which leads on to the next point. Relax. Don't tense up anything when you're playing. Just stay as relaxed as possible. The next technique is your actual fretting. You want to make sure your fingers are curved and not really so much like this. You don't really want any bends in your fingers like this. You want to keep them nice and rounded when you're playing because it helps a lot with fretting down. You have a lot more power in your fingers when your fingers are arched. Now let's talk about the first technique, bar chords. Bar chords are some of the most important black metal techniques to learn. And it does take a while to master bar chords if you're new to guitar or you're just starting off. So let's talk about the technique. So the important thing is to keep your hand in a sort of U shape like this on the back of the fretboard. And what works best for me is to keep my index finger as straight as possible. That way I can fret all six strings nice and easily. Just one finger. So we're gonna start off with the regular bar chord shape. So we're just gonna play an A minor from low E to high E, five, seven, seven, five, five, five. Now you can keep the same shape and just move it up and down the neck. And then you can kind of do like the mayhem thing with your strumming when you're playing these chords where you're starting from the high notes and then finishing on the low notes. The second bar chord shape is when our root note's on the A string. This is an E minor bar chord shape, so we're going to be fretting from A to high E, first finger. Then we're going to play an A minor chord shape on top, so the frets are going to be 7, 9, 9, 8, 7, from A to high E. And there you've got your second bar chord shape. And you can just move this chord shape up and down the neck, and you can join the two together. The next important black metal technique is palm muting. I would argue that palm muting is more important than tremolo picking because to get good at tremolo picking you have to be good at palm muting as well. So how do you get a good palm mute? You need to find the sweet spot on the bridge and you have to use your ears. The way I like to do it is to keep my hand close to where the string meets the saddle. So you get this deep aggressive palm mute. If my hand's too far to the left, sounds bad. And now I slowly move it to the right. Not too bad, much better. If it's too far to the right, using a Floyd, you're gonna just sharpen the note and it's gonna sound awful. And to get a good palm mute technique, it's almost like a karate chop on the bridge in the right spot. And you wanna make sure your hand is really just kind of pointing downwards and not at a diagonal angle. Because when you're palm muting, you're meant to be palm muting all six strings at once. The next technique is legato, hammer-ons and pull-offs. And why do we need hammer-ons and pull-offs? To make cool riffs. So how do we do hammer-ons? We pick a note, I'm picking the 7th fret on E, and then I'm going to smash down onto the 8th fret with my middle finger. And then you can do the same thing with the 9th fret with your ring finger, and the same thing with your little finger on the 10th fret. Pull-offs just work in reverse. So we're going to be picking the 8th fret of A with our middle finger, and we're going to also be fretting with our first finger. We flick off with our middle finger, whilst keeping our first finger in the exact same spot. When you're beginning to practice these pull-offs, it's very easy to do this and bend the notes. You want to keep the note and the string as straight as possible. Same thing with this note here on the ninth fret and the 10th fret. 
then you can do a hammer on and a pull off. <laughs> Trilling is when you hammer on and pull off really fast. That's another technique that you can use in your riffs. And of course, it can't be a black metal technique without tremolo picking. So before you start tremolo picking, it's good to know the subdivisions and different rhythmic patterns. Here are four quarter notes. We play those on every beat of the bar, and I like to practice this with palm mutes. These are eighth notes when you pick eight times in a bar. Then you have triplets, where you pick three times in one beat. Then you have sixteenth notes, which is four times in one beat. What also helps are gallops. First gallop is the Slayer gallop, the reverse gallop. And the next one is the Iron Maiden gallop, the regular gallop. So it's a good idea to practice all of those rhythms with a metronome. And when you get more used to playing sixteenth notes, you just use the same technique, Lift off the palm mute, and then your tremolo picking. Now when I tremolo pick, I like to keep my little finger on the high E string. It's a technique that I picked up from Archaeon of 1349, and that really allows me to have a really loose hand, but also a solid grip on the high E. So when I'm playing, you know, fast 1349 inspired or just really aggressive fast stuff, The cool thing about this technique is that I can keep my wrist really loose, but still quite solid because my little finger is hooked onto the high E. Sometimes I do it with my ring finger as well. It really just depends on the chords and what's coming up next. But that's the way you get good at tremolo picking. You have to get good at palm mute. And then lift off your hand. Speed it up. Those are some black metal techniques for you to use and implement into your own playing. Thanks for watching.